Alabama. Well, the good news is that we're continuing to see more counties removed from this severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect until 10 p.m. I would imagine in the next hour or so we'll start to see Birmingham, Tuscaloosa removed from this watch. It's really areas south of here that are dealing with much of the action right now. And here and in the next hour, much of central Alabama will be completely done with the storms or at least the severe threat for some of these storms. Zooming in here to Coosa County, a strong thunderstorm working its way down Highway 231 here towards Rockford. They're just now getting done with this storm and it's continuing to push off towards the southeast at around 30 to 35 miles per hour. A bigger complex, a more organized complex of storms, I should say, just off to the west, working its way through Hale and back towards Green counties. So over from Forkland back towards Greensboro, probably getting in on a little bit of small hail, maybe up to quarter size there in the Greensboro community, as we have had a history of seeing some hail with this storm as well. Velocity showing that some pretty gusty winds ahead of this, maybe around 50 to 60 miles per hour, and that's why it is severe warm. Many of the storms today were severe warm more so from the threat of the small hail than it was even the gusty winds. As you can tell here it's had a good history of producing at least a couple of hail swaths across the region. And that's because we've got some colder air aloft that's helping to, uh, to form some of those hailstones and what we normally wouldn't see here in the deep south at this time of the year. Another little shower working its way uh, over here by Margaret and Springville back over towards Pell City. Just a very quick downpour, not expecting any severe weather from that storm. But the severe storms have caused a handful of power outages around 1,000 to 2,000 customers across our area without power right now with the bulk of it being here in Tallapoosa County. Alexander City had a pretty good thunderstorm row through their neck of the woods earlier. So future cast shows that if we have already seen the rain come to an end, it's probably done for the rest of the evening. So Birmingham back towards Tuscaloosa points north of there done with the rain for the most part today. Can't rule out an isolated shower this evening still, but the severe threat at least is now coming to an end. Temperatures going into the overnight will drop into the upper 60s and lower 70s as we start to see some cooler weather coming in behind this cold front that has prompted the severe storms, a very hot and muggy air mass at the front of the cold front. But dew points show that we are already seeing those lower dew point values, the less humid air just off to our north. Uh, Huntsville's dew point down in the upper 50s now, so that's the kind of air that is going to start to fall into our neck of the woods as we go into the next 24 hours. Outside of the rain and the storms, though, temperatures are hot. It's 94 in Alabaster, 95 for Jasper and Birmingham. Heat index values are even warmer than this. As we take a live look at Birmingham right now from our BJC camera a temperature of 95 dew point 68 and that's making it feel like it's 100 and we've actually avoided much of the storms here in downtown today overnight we'll drop into the upper 60s lower 70s a couple degrees shy of our average of where we should be at this time of the year but after tomorrow we're really going to see that lower humidity coming in and really making those cooler overnights uh, thing back in the forecast over the next several days so thankfully not going to deal with any storms tomorrow plenty of sunshine high temperatures there close to 90 degrees the bus stop forecast Forecast looking good as well. Not going to need the rain jacket tomorrow or really for much of this week. Temperatures comfortable there, uh, still shy of 90 degrees as you're coming home tomorrow afternoon. So future cast shows that we stay pretty dry this week behind that cold front. Less humid air continuing to filter in high pressure developing here at the surface going to keep a lot of sunshine around and comfortable temperatures in the 80s with overnight lows dropping into the 60s. In fact, one of those cooler overnights could go into Wednesday night where we're expecting temperatures widespread to be in those lower 60s, even in some places outside of Birmingham could be in the upper 50s for the first time in quite some time. So expecting that to continue going into the rest of this week and we are going to be staying dry. High temperatures there in the upper 80s getting back to the lower 90s by next Thursday and Friday.